and I'm about to go on a road trip. I've got a big coffee <sighs> because as Laura and I Gilmore said, nothing says coffee like six in the morning. Did you say six or five? Irrelevant. Um, but I'm going on a road trip. I'm gonna go to one of my favorite places in England, have a little walky walks, a lunch, and then I will return the same day. It's only a seven hour journey, it's fine. There and back, a seven hour total, we're fine. Okay. I'm off. Look at my hair. The hair is what we're working with. Bye. Sorry that made you dizzy. Spooks. My name is Jess. I put the J in JT Reads. Welcome to the video. Please say hi to Cersei. She's here too. So another whole week has come to a close and I got some good reading done this week. I didn't finish much. I only finished one book, but I am partway through several and just having a really good time. The books I'm reading at the moment are just so interesting and there is just something about 2024 where most of the books I'm reading are just four or five stars. And I don't know what gods graced me, but thank you, I'm grateful. So this week I finished reading Feybound and I loved this and I didn't think I was gonna love this. I'm not usually a fantasy reader, but this world building, this plot, this magic system was so interesting. The queer representation was just elite loved all of the representation in this book and it was just one of those books where i couldn't put it down i had it on audiobook i didn't read the physical copy and every time i put it on i was just so excited to read it and i love when books give you that feeling that feeling that you just want to get straight back into the story so massive props to this author because i will be buying the physical copy at some point and putting it on my shelf pride of place pride of place as part of my March TBR challenge, I have started reading And Then She Fell by Alicia Elliott. And again, I am zooming through this. I've got the physical copy, but I also have the ebook. So I alternate between whatever format I fancy reading in. Cannot get enough of this. I am only 18% of the way through, and I'm getting to the stage where sinister things are starting to happen. I'm ready for the dark stuff to happen. There's already been a few sprinklings of terror and horror, and I am just here for it. I know I'm gonna love this book. And once I finish that, that will tick off my first TBR challenge of the month. And I'm not far off. I know I said I'm 18% through, but the speed at which I am reading this now, we, it won't be long. I am also part way through. I have the copy. Oh. Exit West. This is also part of my TBR challenge. And, oh, well, you can see where my bookmark is. I'm about this far through. I would say 60, maybe 70%. And again, loving this. 
this was so unexpected because I assumed this to be, from the content and from the cover, a literary fiction about war, about love, about sustaining a new love throughout war. And I've heard amazing things about the author and about the book itself, but this has magical realism in it and I did not know. I've since checked Goodreads and can see it has been tagged as magical realism, but I did not see it coming. So unexpected, but a delightful little surprise. Um, I'm not going to spoil what the magical realism is, but it's such a lovely touch that really adds to the power of the story. It's the symbolism of what the magical realism represents that just really hits home. I haven't finished yet, but I can already tell you that I'm going to be saying, highly recommend this book. So, spoiler alert, highly recommend this book. So that's all I've been reading this week. I have restarted listening to Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies because I'm obsessed. So to keep my weekly vlogs slightly more interesting, I'm kind of going to follow the report format. And if you don't know what that is, it's R-E-P-O-R-T. Did I spell that right? That was so quick. I don't even know. We're gonna assume that was correct. R being reading, so what I'm reading this week, that's kind of what we're all here for, I imagine. E is for anything exciting I've been eating this week. P is for what I've been playing this week, so I am going to assume that means either music, video games, board games, that sort of thing. O stands for obsessing over, so whatever I've been obsessing over this week. The next R stands for recommending, so anything spectacular that has surfaced this week that I just need you all to know about. And finally, T stands for treating. So any little treat I've been allowing myself this week. So let's crack on. We've already covered reading. So if you're done, if you came here just to see what I've been reading this week, cut the video now. You do not need to continue. If you would like a little more slice of life, then you know, stick around and I'll tell you. So you will have seen from the clips at the beginning of the video that I went on a little road trip earlier in the week and I drove three and a half hours, I think it was, to a place in Staffordshire. It's very close to Alton Towers. If you know England well, you'll know Alton Towers. And I ate for lunch. I did not know this combo existed and this combo needs to exist in the world. I had, what did I have? I had leek and potato soup. Okay, not groundbreaking. And with my leek and potato soup, I had a warm cheese scone with a massive stick of mature cheddar. That is what this cafe serves. Soup, cheese scone, big stick of cheese. I'm rating that 10 out of 10. That is a five star lunch. And I will be telling everybody about it. I, I cut up my cheese, sprinkled it in my soup, crunched up some of my scone, sprinkled that in my soup, like a cheese scone crouton. Not to be dramatic, but I think it might have changed my life forever. For playing, I'm gonna give you a two-parter because my friends and I went to a board game cafe last night and we played, hmm, what was it called? Fire something, storm, fire, fire, storm, fire tower, maybe fire tower, whatever. Whatever the name is, I'll try and find a picture and put it here somewhere. Did I do that? Editing Jess, did you do that? Can you get yourself together and do that? Okay, thank you. And the target of the game is just to place little fire tokens down and set your opponent's towers on fire. I lost. Jammy, Jazz, if you're watching this, I know you targeted me. You just wait until we play again. I'm coming for your towers. Anyway, so that was really fun. I love a games cafe, such good vibes in there. But side B for playing is the one song I have been obsessed with for maybe four months now is Sick of It All by Magnolia Park. It is a jam. It is one of those songs where I want to wind my windows down in the car, wind like it's the 90s. I want to, what? What do young people say instead of wind the window down and hang the phone up? I want to zzz the window down. Uh, I want the sun to be shining and I want to crank this so much and just scream to my little heart's content. That is the vibe for this song. Perfect, no notes. I'm now realizing that I could have just used the song for obsessing over because I am obsessing over it. Shit, what am I obsessing over? For obsessing over, I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite booktubers, Jan Agaton. I will consume any content that she puts out. I am obsessed with watching her videos. Her horror recommendations are next to none and her reading vlogs, so much effort goes into them 
and they are just such a fun watch. If you like horror movies, horror books, if you just like good content, she's just got a puppy. If you like puppy content, if you like to see wholesome couples on the internet talk about books, Jan and Joey are where it's at. Recommending. I'm also sticking to YouTube right now, but I am recommending fully that you go and search for Terror Vibe because they put out the most cinematic, incredible videos. I can't really explain much more than that other than you just need to see it to believe it. There's a video for everyone and the work that goes into creating these is mind blowing. Whenever I want a little bit of escapism, I stick an audiobook in and I put this on my big screen here and I just dive into the world that Terra Vibe, the account has created. If you do nothing else today, go and look at Terra Vibe. Thank you. We have finally come to our tea, to our clothes, and I have maybe 10, 15 minutes left of my lunch break before I have to sit back here and go to work. I'm gonna treat myself to a 10 minute lie down with my cat. I might make a little peppermint tea in a cup and saucer and go cuddle my cats for 10 minutes. You know what, that's self care for me. And then I'll dive back in to an afternoon of work and yoga tonight. That might be a more interesting treat to tell you about than cuddling my cats, but this is reality. All I wanna do is snuggle my cats. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any horror recommendations, any fae romance recommendations, any, any magical realism recommendations, anything witchy, anything spooky, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for sharing this little part of the internet with me, for being in this community with me, for making me feel so happy and so welcome. And like, I'm not just talking to myself about books. I hope to catch you in another video very, very soon. Thank you. Bye.